So you might have the question, what's up with negative exponents? Or your students might have this question. So we have many people and many math teachers know that 3 to the negative 1 equals 1 over 3. But how does this make any sense? So first, again, we have to go back a little bit to some basics. Let's look at these two problems. Now, zero is the superhero. Here's his cape. This is an S for superhero. Zero is the superhero of Edition World, and the one is the superhero. This is the super. Here's his cape. He's the superhero of Multiplication World. So that's why we're using 0 and 1. By superhero, I mean they're the identities of those two. If you don't know what that means, that's okay. Just know that they are very, very special, and I will post on that at a later date and link back to this post so that you can come look. 3 plus what equals 0? 3 plus negative 3 equals 0. 3 times what equals negative 1? Well, in the same vein, We can look up here. We can go 3 times 1 third equals negative 1. These two don't have any similarities right now. If we instead look at it like this, 3 times 3 to the negative 1 power, and then we look at this as negative 1 times 3, we'll notice that we have a negative 1 in each situation. Back to my example for the previous video where I had 4 times 3 means 4 copies of 3 added together and 3 4 times 4 copies is 4 copies of 3 multiplied together notice the positioning of this guy and these guys Instead of 4, I'm using negative 1. And this denotes that it's the opposite. So the official opposite is for addition, and then the opposite in multiplication world is called the reciprocal. So this is called the opposite, and this is called the reciprocal. So this is what's up with negative exponents.